Shut up and sit down. Greetings, my fellow Earth travelers, and welcome back to all the Mod 6. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you're not, well, sucks to be you. Now, if you, hopefully you will get a little smile on your face from what we do today, and it makes it a better day. Anyway, last time we worked on adding a whole bunch of fluid to our RF storage system. We see some tanks here. We see some external storage connectors we also connected up a bunch of external items and we're piping in leave lava from the down yonder belows so we got all that going for us today now oblix he been a busy bee and been doing oh, hello night time night time ain't the right time let's uh make that not night time there we go good morning yeah night time's time to get you killed up in here so this is a bad place Anyway, Oblix's been a seriously busy bee off of the cameras between the episodes, and I have done all the little bits and bombs that I said I was going to do that I ain't done yet that I kept putting off because I got the lazy. So remember that old nasty bee section we had over here that I told you I hated and was going to redone do -did? Well, it's been redone did -ed. So, uh, yeah, still not my favorite but it could be a lot worse and in fact was a lot worse. So here's our storage section. Connected it up to our fine storage so we can get the fluids right here. We can get the items right here. And we're storing all our bits and pieces up in here as such. Kind of like we had before, just a little bit neater. And I did switch over to these compacting drawers for some of the bits and bobs that can be compacted. Like bricks turn into... Brick blocks and glowstone turns into glowstone blocks and bone meal turns into bones. Anyway, our bone blocks. So we got different little B sections, kind of like a basically same setup we had before, just a little bit prettier, I think. So we got individual uh, pods. I don't know what you call these dumb, dumb things. Uh, so we got our lumber bees in here. You can tell by the back wall. So the wall behind the fence here is the wall that is key to what the bee produces. So like you can tell these are the mason bees and these are the lumber bees. And these are the lava bees. And the vanilla Minecraft bees. I don't know where our vanilla Why are y'all in the hive? Why don't y'all get out and do some work, you lazy bums? Uh, some of the bees get a little bit quirky, like the leva lava bees. Yeah, you just see they're just chilling. Every now and then they'll work and then they stop. Now, same with the Minecraft bees. I don't know what's up with some of them, but you've got the uh, globe glowing bees. You've got the spooky bees giving us the bones. you got the RG bees giving us the dyes. We come around here. Oh, we picked up one. Uh, we've got the, I don't remember, zombies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got the stony bees. we got the sandy bees. we got a zombie down there somewhere. Uh, we get some more nether bees. The nether bees seem to be the ones with the most problems. The lava bees and these guys tend to get themselves hung up occasionally. We got the crystal bees. We got the spider bees. We got the guardian bees. And I've got one and two pods here that have not been used yet. And we can use later if we find some more bees. Now to make all this fanciness work, uh, get on the there we go elevator block. We come down here. This is the magic maker. So these paths, this one and these one and these one way over here. You see a little honeycomb coming down. That's a regular bee honeycomb. So they did put in a little bit of work. Uh, and this one right here are where all of our pods are. And just like we had before, we took the item collector. It's collecting the honeycombs and shinning them down the way. You notice we have two pipes. We've got this guy up here and you can see a, what is that? A lumber bee, I think, coming through bee comb. And then we've got this pipe down here, which is different and separated. That's because we have three bees that produce combs that we don't need to process in our centrifuges, which are right here in the center. 
So those are just going directly into drawers. Uh, the RGB, the vanilla Minecraft B, and the lava B. So all the other ones get sent into this chest right here, like I so. And then come down into the centrifuges, get processed, and then the, the goodies come out and get shoved up into that drawer right there, which you can see is connected into our refined storage system. As well, we got our honey being piped out over here into uh, this advanced black hole tank. And of course we have access to all that goodness down here. This is where the old... Okay, this is where the old... had no idea I was about to zip zap up there. This is where the old setup was. Uh, we just moved it, kind of turned it sideways. I actually added one more centrifuge to it. It's really not necessary. Uh, we're producing plenty with what we got here. And uh, here we're going to treat. And I do think it looks quite a bit better. Then, uh, the piece de resistance. Piece de resistance. Uh, I have taken our element craft to a new level. I have been talking about rebuilding this section for a long time. And I done did it, and I think it looks freaking amazing. So you might not like it. That's okay. You're just wrong. That's all there is to that. Anyway, we got our power source over here. So we've got the element orbs and as the sources or the element sources over here with improved element extractors on each one of them piping into these uh, element containers so each one has their own around this little plinth thing here yeah i did kind of make it a little hard to walk around here with all these leaves and we got one over there for the earth those all pipe underground to the individual stations that need them. So like this ore purifier needs earth element. So there's a pipe that runs from the earth element back in the back back there over to here and then up into this element container that has the ore purifier on top as well. That pipe continues down into our little central section here to the earth pedestal, which is this guy right here. You see him coming up out of the back right there, kind of hidden by these leaves. Uh, so that our infuser can sit right here and work. We've got over here, we've got our fire blast furnace, we've got our fire furnace, and of course we have our element infuser, which also requires our, so there's actually a pipe that runs along right here. Comes from there and then shoots down over and hooks up here. You can actually see it right there. So I think this turned out really well. I wanted to use a lot of the element craft blocks, these white rock and the white brick, and just kind of staggered and mixed and tossed in some stairs and all manner of things. And I think the soul lanterns go well with this. I've also sprinkled some source blocks around, or some source orbs around. Uh, you can actually run through them. They're, they don't prevent you from moving. But, uh, you know, just sprinkled a few. You can see the water one right there. A few around just to kind of decorate up the place. And of course, added connection to our refined storage system back here out of the way. And I think this place looks amazing. Connected it up to the path on both sides. We've got the path here, the main path to the barn. It just shoots off over here. And then once you come through the element craft area, you hit the path. It heads on over to the bees. So kind of starting to get things connected together, working together. I think that's looking really good. Now, let's go see what we're going to do today. So a really long time ago, back when we built this house, we put a broom down here that I said we would use eventually, but we never did. We haven't used it yet. Well, today is the day. Today is the day. We're finally ready to be able to use it. I've done a little bit of work in here. I had some columns that came down here, which I think looked really good, but... Uh, what we're going to put in here today really needs this wall to be flat and clean. So I went ahead and removed them on both sides. Um, went ahead and brought down our refined storage system down here so we can have access to all the goodies. And put in these uh, doors because that gave us access to our refined storage system because we already had the piping down here, which this is actually the path over to the barn. And yeah, we were able to just kind of come in here and then this little door takes us right outside down here by the lake. And we're going to make use of all that today. Now, the reason we kind of held off on this and we couldn't get to this earlier is because we needed a resource we did not have. And that is this, the andesite. And 
And if you remember, we made that uh, material stonework factory uh, from industrial foregoing. You know, we had to make all the pink slime and the animal farms and all that mess to do that. Well, now we have tons of andesite. I've got uh, tons and tons and tons of andesite uh, that we were able to produce using just some lava and some water. So now we're going to put that to use. So we're going to start working in the create mod. And I have been waiting for this for some time because it looks very cool. And it's not a mod I've really played with. I know a little bit about it, but a very little bit about it. So we're going to learn together. And I know the first thing you need to do is, well, the mod is based off of rotational force. Instead of creating power like mechanism or um, Indurio or any of those, you use rotational force as your energy in this mod and to generate rotational force there's several different ways uh, a cheap and easy early way is using water wheels kind of like immersive engineering except we're not going to be using them to make power we're going to be using them to turn things or rotate things so we need to make some water wheels and that's the reason we dug out over here night time ain't the right time Wow, is it already night already? It seems like it happens super fast. Anyway, uh, that's why we dug out over here a little bit. And we got a three wide place. And I think we can stick some water wheels right in here. Make it look like we got us a little waterfall coming down. I think it's going to be beautiful. So let's go ahead and do that. And for water wheels, we're going to need some slabber jabbies. And a cog wheel. To make a cog wheel, we're going to need this andesite alloy. And that is where the andesite comes in. We're going to have to mix that with some iron nuggets or some zinc nuggets. Uh, let's see what we have. I mean, I'm sure we have the most of iron, but how many zinc do we actually have? Quite a bit. Um, I'm half tempted to use zinc just because I don't think I'm going to use it much anywhere else. Uh, iron, of course, we have a ton of that too. So, well, we'll just stick with iron for the time being. And if it starts to become a problem, we'll switch over to the zinc. So some andesite and some iron nuggies. And let's just grab a 64 of those to start with. Perfect. Now we can go in and get into that cogwheel. We're going to need to make some buttons. Uh, I'd like to make... We do, but, uh, give me some planks, man. Planks. Let's do uh, Zelkovia because we got 82,647 of those. And we'll just make... Uh, let's see, stack of buttons. Boom and a bam. And we'll put four in there. And then we'll do this. I would rather use the Zelkovia, I think. Let's do this. And we'll just pop some of those in there. Lord knows I need enough of that in my building. And do, do, do. Hey, hey, hey. I want the Zelkovi, I said. Uh, Slabby Jabby. And do, 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 do. Perfect. One, two, three. All right. Now, let us make it day and then go figure out how to place these down. All right. Date time has dawned. And we're going to come out here and try to figure out how to use these here water wheels. Uh, let's start with one. I wonder if I'm going to have to fill that in. I bet I am. Boom. And we've achieved water wheel. Now what I don't know, I think we're going to hold off on putting the other two down. What I'm not sure of is how to get the most out of this guy. Now is there a way to see what, uh, how much power it's producing or how much rotational force it's producing? Uh, normally that'd be done with something like goggles or glasses. Uh, oh, goggles. Yeah. Engineer goggles. There you go. Uh oh, what is this? Gold plate. Oh, man. We gotta make a press. We gotta make thermal series stuff to make this stuff. Good gravy. Why you do this to me, game? Oh, now I have to make Constantine? Oh, Lord have mercy. Wow, that recipe's changed a little bit. Now you need a fire charge? Oh, Lord have mercy. All right, let's get some copper and some nickel and make some Constantine. 
did want to show you up here, you might notice that there's some things missing. All that element craft is now outside where we went into our new area, and all of my bins full of those resources are gone. Well, not gone, just moved. I sent them down here to the basement because they were taking up space and looking ugly. And I had a perfect little spot for them right here, so this is where they got stuck. And they are connected to our refined storage system using those external storage devices. If you remember, we had a power cell right there, that or an energy cube. We moved over here, loaded up, and I added a few more generators just because why not? They're cheap. Uh, and the brick is now cheap for us too, so I mean, what the heck, why not? There we go. All right. Come in here, bippity bappity boopity, and bamo. All right, there's our bronze. Now, for the love of all things good in this world, can I make this stupid machine that I didn't want to make in the first place? Is that a thing we can do? Thank you, game. Thank you, thank you very much. And we should have power there. We do perfecto. I don't forgot what I was even trying to make. A gold plate, so we just need an ingot. And pop him in there, let him process. It's going to take 92,684 years. Perfect. All this for a daggum pair of goggles. I tell you what. Things better work. Let's go down here. We're going to Zorp. Better grab some water. Boy, I love this thing. I love it. I tell you, I love it. I bet I need to put them on my face place. Uh, can I put them here? No. Do they have to go here? What? 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 Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's just block that off so we're not running water all down where we don't need water right now and tell you what let's actually put doop 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 because I don't know where it's gonna go okay if I put it here does it flow over oh it flows behind as well it flows over and behind oh and if I'm looking at this I see okay generator stats stress capacity 162 SU at current speed so that's stress units Okay, so that's 160. So if I take this and put it there and put the water there and we just flow forward, 256 stress units. Nice. Okay. So what if I put it here? Still 256. Now if I take... Let's see. Let's take the water out. I want to try to get it flowing from the back of the thingy over here, like it is so. Is this going to go up more? No. So it looks like 256 is all you're going to get. Or the best you're going to get out of this thing. Uh, to make it, a, make it a water. Unless maybe I put a source here. That make it go faster? Let's see. It's still only 256, so this one does you no benefit whatsoever. Already nighttime. I swear it's like nighttime more than it's daytime up on this goofball server. Anyway. So that's going to do be our water setup. Alright, so we'll put a block there and just have it run over the top. And that's going to get us the biggest bang for the book. Alright, so now we've got the three wheels set up. They do tend to disappear on you, which is a little bit obnoxious, I ain't going to lie. And it looks like each wheel's producing 256 SU. I don't know if that's going to add up across all three. Or if it's just going to be the 256. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, but now we need to get the power that this is creating inside. Uh, I really don't like that it disappears. It seems to be a, a distance thing as you come closer. There they are. As you go further away, it's just weird water. Anyway. Left the spot here to pull this in. And I think we're going to need 
some of these, I believe. Hopefully this is right. I don't know. We'll find out momentarily. Oh, look, we got circle circles. Okay, so the white line shows you where it's going to place. So we got the rotational power coming in here. I don't think we need that one. Now we need to turn the power down this wall. So how do we turn it? Okay, so I'm thinking it's going to be a gearbox here. Relays rotation in four directions, reverses straight connections. Okay, so just like with gears, it's going to stop it from... If it turns clockwise, it's probably going to turn it counterclockwise or anti-clockwise. So we're going to need casing. Should not be a problem. We should be able to make one of these. Now. Boom. Okay, looky looky at my car. That is so cool. All right, so our gears, our, our shaft is turning clockwise. This is turning clockwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like you, like the gears you would expect from the gears, this is turning anti-clockwise and this is turning clockwise. That's exactly what you would expect to see. That is super cool. I assume I can, yep, yep, I can come off of that. Awesome. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. So now I think I want to make... I don't know what to make next. I think I want to make a crushing wheel. Oh my. We're going to need a mechanical crafter to make this. That's... Hmm, do I want to do that? That seems like next level stuff, yeah? Am I missing things? Are there things I should be doing before, like an encased fan? Converts rotational force into air current. Has a variety of uses. So I think maybe we try a fan first. Whoa. We're going to need some iron plates. Okay, let me go make some iron plates. All right, so we got our encased fan. Let's see how we use this guy. Can I just pop him on there? I can, but he's blowing this way, or actually sucking this way. Okay. Looks like he needs to be powered from the back. Can I put him on here? Okay, so an anti-clockwise turn pushes. Oh, it's pushing me. Yeah, there you go. It's pushing me. An anti-clockwise turn makes it blow. And a clockwise turn makes it suck. You can see the little particles. That is cool. Okay. Okay, I've been playing around with these gearboxes a little bit, built a, a vertical one, and connected them up, got them so it's actually rotating downward. Problem is, because of the way it's rotating, it's got this guy on suck instead of blow, and I want him on blow. So I think I'm going about this the wrong way. I think what I need to be considering is gears or cogwheels uh, instead of the gearboxes. Let's try some cogwheels and see if that gets us what I'm looking for. So if I place a cogwheel on there, now that starts rotating clockwise. So I'm now holding a small cogwheel, and you can see as I move around the bigger wheel, I get these arrows, which are places I assume I can place them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you notice this guy is now moving, not only is he moving faster, but he's moving in the alternate direction. So could I again place this guy there, who's now moving, yes, even faster still? Interesting. Oh, yeah, okay. I can't place there because I bet you he's connecting to that and you can't have a slow and a fast one connecting together. That would make sense. So you can see we've moved out a layer. And now this guy is moving even quicker than that guy. 
Okay, I see what's I see what you're doing now, game. Let's make another couple big cog wheels. Now that guy's just cooking. That's kind of cool. Okay, I just want to see how fast we can make this go. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Oh, we're smoking. Look at that craziness. Does it hurt? <laughs> you jam your face into it? You da -da 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 -da. No. Okay. So we, we get a heck of a lot of rotation off of that. Oh, man, that fan just sucked me right in there like nobody's business. Oh, and look how far it's going. Pulling me, pulling me, pulling me faster. And then my face is all up in the fan blades. Perfect. Could I then, could I put a small one on a small one? Yeah, and get the rotation going the other way. Now this should blow me across the room. Boom. Oh, it sure does. Look at that. So I think the color, that little rotation uh, of color you get, I think is based off the speed of the fan. This one should be that kind of pinky purple color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is probably near in max, I would bet. Let's see. we we'll make a couple more big ones. Got the pinky purples. <laughs> oh yeah, it won't even go on there. It's like, yeah, no, bro. Too fast, too fast. It's weird that these are floating like that, though. Oh, you can't even place an item on it. It's spinning so fast. Okay. So... That, what is that? I didn't see the color. Show me the color rotation. It didn't show me the color rotation. Rude. Oh, you can turn them. Uh -huh -huh -huh. Let's get some... Uh... Cobbly cobblestone. And we'll put some there and there. And let's look for some slabbage. Again, we're, we're just testing here, folks. We're, we're, we're not trying to do anything amazing. Okay, that does... Oh, okay, it does not stop the flow. Perfect. So if I put some leva lava in here. Oh yeah. Look at that. You see cookie cookie. So what is the question? Will that cook? Will that cook this? It's doing something to it. Oh my magnet sucked it back up. We gotta turn my magnet off. Uh do do. do. There we go. It is doing something to it. Lord knows what. I'm not exactly... It's not smoking black anymore, so I don't know that it's actually doing anything to it anymore. Let's put a stopper. Yeah, see how it smokes black there? Looky, looky. It schmeltificated it. Can I do 28? Why, well, yes, we can. Ow, it hurts. It burns. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Alright, what else can we do besides burn our face off? Um, can it cook meat? It's smoking it. Oh, no, it goed away. Okay. Uh, what can we replace the lava with that might cook the meat? You do have some flint and steel. Let's... Ow, it burns. It also burns. Ouch. Okay, so we get the black particles instead of the orangey particles. 
Well, that cooked meat. We've got white smoke now instead of black smoke. He's coming off the meat. And it did cook the meat. Looky, looky. And I would assume it could do the whole stack just like uh, the other, like the lava did with the stone. Yep, and there it is. So if we can use fire and we can use lava, what else can we use? All right, got some water. Let's toss that in. What does that do? Ooh. That looks cold. Cold does not hurt. What would that do? Will this show us? We look at fan and shift. Wind blowing through special blocks. Boy, I should have read that earlier. Uh, liquids and fire particles are emitted into the air. Flow. This can be used to process items. Well, that's not helpful. I want to know what it can be processed. So let's look at uses for the fan. Okay. So yeah, cook blocks, cook ingots. Okay. That's with lava. Okay, so lava makes it a blast furnace. Uh, fire makes it a smoker. That makes sense. Water is washing? What? It's iron plate into rusty iron plate. Purple concrete powder into concrete. Okay. Alright, so I got some concrete powder here. Let's give that a go. We toss that in. We get the white sparkles. And there it is. Full on concrete. So can I just take the whole seven left, dump it in there and do it all at one time? Yes, we can. Lucky there. So that is an easy way to process concrete. You just have to set up a way to drop it here and then pick it up after it's become concrete which is relatively easy to do all right now i want to try something else i want to try a mechanical press so we should have all the bits and bobs we need to make that and we'll need perhaps a basin i don't know that we need it but i'm thinking maybe so supposedly you place this down here on the ground like so and this like oh, oh that's in it no that's above it okay yeah that's what's supposed to happen it's supposed to go above it oh, recipe filter interesting okay so it looks like it wants to accept rotational from that way Okay, so we could do that. Now I gotta get this go go juice over there. Okay, does it? I wonder if it matters what direction it's rotating. Well, it's, it's doing a thing. So, supposedly, if I. Let's see, let's. When above a basin, starts to compact items in the basin whenever all necessary ingredients are present. So I'm thinking it should be able to compact. Let's see. Well, if we take bone meal, right? Bone meal compacts into bone blocks if we just take nine of it, right? So let's get rid of that and just take the nine. If I put this in here, how do I put this in here? Can't. I'm right clicking it. Left clicking it. Can I just throw it? Oh. It just sticks to the bottom. Perfect. It do the thing. Ha 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 ha. There we go. Okay. Okay. I see you, game. I see you. That's actually kind of cool. What if we do, can I do that? Dump 63 in there and it's gonna give me a bunch of blocks at one time. So 
So not exactly, but it will continue to process. That's actually really cool. It's just crunching away. It's like, don't worry, bro. I got this. And there's our seven blocks. That is so cool. All right, next up, I want to try the mixer. Mechanical mixer, that is. We're going to need a whisk. Luckily, I'd made up some extra plates before. So there we go. And I don't know if it needs a basin. Went above a basin. So yeah, there you go. Needs a basin. All right, so I assume I can just come off of here like a so and pop a basin down here and a mixer there. That mm, don't look like that works. All right, I think I've got it figured out. We used a vertical gearbox that I just raised up and put some gears on it. Now again, that's probably not the most efficient way. I get that, I get that. Calm your jets, it's gonna be fine. Again, we're just learning, we're figuring things out. Now, that's one of my pleasures in the game is figuring new things out. That's why I wanted to play with this mod, is I like figuring for myself new ways of doing things. There you go. Look at that. Again, not the most efficient, but it works. It works. Now we should be able to put some Pam stuff in there and make some jam. So... Toss that in, and that in, and that in. Oh, <laughs> looky there. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> like just a big old mixer. There we go. Made some mulberry jelly. Mm-mm, delish. All right, now this may be the dumbest idea ever, but I want to go ahead and make an empty blaze burner that supposedly works with that mixer. And if I hold mouse or if I shift over it, you say it's a little iron home for your fiery friends. I'm sure you could put them to good use. It says when used on a blaze or blaze spawner, creates a blaze in the item. So yeah, I think I have to take this there thing to the nether. And uh, I need a suit up here. And either click him on a blaze or just pop him on the blaze spawner. And then, uh, where am I going? And then we, 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 we get a thing, maybe, possibly, perhaps. All right, if you remember, we set up the quick portal to the blaze spawner. In the fortress. Oi. Oh, why did not I bring a big gum shield? Spawn a blaze. We're going to kill all but one, and then we're going to... Oh, Lord have mercy. I should probably eat. Let's turn our magnet on. Let's get some good food. Hey there, buddy. Oh. We caught his face. Look at that. Blaze burner. Nice. And I might as well get some blaze rods while I'm here. Ow, that hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Good enough. Let's beat it. Well, that was not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. And we now have... <laughs> Look at his little head in there. <laughs> Alright, so we have to put this under here, supposedly. Is that a thing? Alright, 
Okay, so now if we look at the mixer and its uses, yeah, you can see the ones with the little blaze head under him do different things. So we can do some automated brewing. All right, in order to brew some potions, we need a sink down here, and I think we're going to use this system to make it for us. So I need to make some clay bricks. So we're just going to toss those into our inventory because we have our magnet back on. Let's turn that off. There we go. We'll toss half a stack of clay bricks in there and see if it'll turn into terracotta for us. There we go. Perfect. We'll just drop those in there with the water. We'll make our sink. Excellent. So we can come down here and a kitchen sink for all. Now we should be able to maybe do this. Is this a thing? There we go. And if I grab another wart. Okay, and we toss this guy in. Well, that didn't work. Does it want more? And it is an entire bucket full of water, right? Let's see if we do, say, night vision. So we need to make the awkward potion. One nether wart. One bucket of water. Overheat makes an awkward potion. Right? We're overheat. Does this guy need something? Apparently, yes. He needs blaze rods. Glad we got some. Okay, so that should now be awkward potion, right? I can't pull it out. Okay, well, we're going to assume it's awkward potion. So we need... Yeah, we need to get a golden carrot. Let's go do that. I don't know why that was stuck on my brain so hard. Why well, I couldn't figure out what it was and that we needed in there. Not like I hadn't made a thousand of these potions. <laughs> Love it. Oh, so he just keeps on cruising. Oh, and you get the bubbles and everything. Can I pull this out as a bucket? No. If we pop some redstone. That'll make it eight minutes. If you're going to make it, you might as well make it right, right? Don't make the weenie one. Make the good one. If you're going to go through the trouble of making it at all. He's still got some go-go juice in him. Doesn't really give me an indicator of how much he has. So that should be night vision 8 minutes. How do I get it out of here? I need a spout. And I have no idea what that is. Okay, so let's see. Oh lord, we need dried kilt. I don't know that I have any dried kilt. Apparently I do. Okay, so how do I get the fluid from here to the spout? Does it even need a... rotational anything or another? Doesn't look like it. Can I just use... And I don't know if there's anything in Create to move fluids, is there? Are there pipes or... I'm sure there is. Fluid interface. Okay, I think I want to... keep it simple to start with until we figure more things out. I think I'm going to just try to move it with mechanism pipes. Just because I want to see this work. So it does connect. This is promising. Okay, it sent all the fluid up here. It says it interacts with stuff below it. Wonder if that's too low, maybe. Or does it want bottles because it's 
potion. Boodles? We're going to put it in some boodles. Let's see. No? Come on. Alright, so I think we need something under here, much like we had the basin. I think maybe it's a depot? And it's the next thing on the list, right? So let's try it. We'll see if this is the critter. So is this what we need? I'm going to go with yes. There we go. We got four eight minute night vision potions for the cost of what we would produce in a brewing stand, three potions. So that's actually pretty good. We're getting an extra potion each time we brew. That's really cool. All right, everybody. I do think that's going to do it for this episode. We spent time today working on create and getting our feet wet. I do expect to do a lot more with this mod in the future. I'm really liking it. I like the, the rotational aspect and it's, you have to spend time figuring out new things, which is awesome. I love that about Minecraft. So until next time, you guys get out there, make some noise. See ya. It goes up.